I was dreaming again. I was dreaming. I was dreaming. Yes! There's no sequel. There's no sequel. There's no... What are you doing, Tony? What, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Just real. Hi, what's you lost the West, sorry. My eyes bolt back to the feather. I walk over slowly, staring at it intently. Magic. Something that wasn't in my world, mm -hmm. but in theirs it was everything. Everyone. I mind racing. I was trying to think of something, some mm -hmm. explanation. This is almost impossible. Impossible! I don't know any real magic, just cheap oh, card tricks. Okay. Uh, yeah. I back up to the feather again. I reached up and grabbed it ever so slowly and brought it close to my eyes. Other than the fact that it belonged to Dashie, there was nothing remarkable about it. I turned it over gingerly in my hands, treating it like a baby. The feather had a very mm. large column running up the length of it, just like most feathers. I still knew enough about my little pony lore to know that a Pegasus feather are worth thicker than a bird's feathers to carry their weight, but I couldn't yeah. tell how much of a difference. Yeah, how much? I gently put it back where it was, stared at it for a few moments longer, then pulled away. I stared at the TV for a moment longer and then powered it down. The room went dim, with only the light now trickling in from the hallway light. I walked to the light switch and flicked it down, cutting off all light to the television room. I passed the walls that separated the room from the hallways, methodically mm. walking, for I was deep in thought. I headed towards the kitchen again, going to grab a glass of water. Thoughts were racing through my mind, but I was having difficulties mm. focusing on a single one. Is there a way for her to come home? Oh, yeah. Where did the feather come from? Is there a way for me to go to her? What can a human do as far as magic? Do humans even possess the ability to control magic? Is there a way to learn? Could something sciency cause something to happen? Is Ashley all right? All of these thoughts were fighting for the spotlight for my brain to focus on that I wasn't. Nothing, 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 nothing. Ah! No! No! Me! My! Ah! Ah! you all fight you stop fighting. No! I began to Ow! 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 I hit myself. A slight twitch of pain in my left ankle. I was bending down when something caught my eye. Dumb. A faint glow came from above the TV. What? I stood up. That's from the way we thought it was. My eyes adjusted to the darkness of the room. The glow was cyan in color. What? What? I felt like I was in a trance. My body moved without me telling it. Gradually, what? I made my way towards the cyan feather. I couldn't take my eyes off it. Like I was drawn to it. It drew ever closer to me, slowly but surely. I felt my foot bump against the furniture that held the TV and the feather. At first, nothing happened. It just sat there, glowing. But then, the unnatural happened. What? It rose slightly off its perch and halted. Okay, so what the hell for Jerry? I couldn't believe my eyes. I had control of my body again, and I bent down to get a closer look. It was hovering about an inch off the wood, not moving, just floating. I what? reached up to touch it. As soon as my fingers brushed against it, my vision was consumed by darkness. The ah! Twilight, please go to bed. You've been up for almost two days. Yeah. Pinky Pie shot it up to Twilight, who was pushed on the edge of the ground. Yeah, Twilight! Twilight's snares and split ends. It was getting dirty from not showering. She had very dirty yeah. bags under her eyes, and she was having issues keeping her balance on the edge. Her tail was wrapped around her legs, and that too was messy. She was reading the book Pinky had found, looking for explanation as to what was happening to Rainbow Dash. What's going on? Pinky, if any one of us was in trouble, Rainbow would rest until she figured out a way to help. Twilight said, Yeah. How good was that? I liked, yeah. Y'all. Oh, I'm going to use it again. Is that memory spell? No, 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 you stay away. Over to the pony on the receiving end. That doesn't help us at all. Rainbow doesn't remember anything. Yeah, doesn't remember anything. 
anything. Got me, it's not me. The princess said that if she found anything, then she would come back as soon as she did. I don't think we should bother her. Uh, Spike's sentence was cut in the you. middle, and a plume of fire shot out of his maw, and a scroll landed in his claws. Oh, well, let's just go. Never mind. Ahem. Ahem. Dear Twilight, my advisors know nothing of this magic. What they believe to have happened is that the mixing of the powerful natural energy of the weather and also your powerful magic had created a wormhole of some sort that was made of both magic and natural energies. They also brought some interesting points to ponder. The Pegasus ponies have the ability to control the weather, where unicorns have only slight control of this, and Earth ponies have none. This is all and well, but they think that the combination of the Pegasus pony powers plus the unicorn magic may have created something inside of your friend. Almost a new pony magic of sorts. Ooh. While this is not a tested theory in the slightest, it must be noted Ooh. as a possible explanation. This is important because if this Wait, is true, did... this new magic is only controlled by your friend, and for it what? to be manipulated, would we cry her another pony with similar powers to affect her? Oh. Basically, what I'm saying is that, once again, only if this is true, then none of this world's magic will affect Rainbow Dash's personal well-being. This what? is also disturbing because that means that she may or may not have the power to control weather and magic. This is also different than the abilities I possess, for I do not control a single power of magic and weather, but I possess two abilities. One for well, the sun! Uh, magic. magic. For now, there is nothing you or your friends can do to help Rainbow Dash. I now My ask you, God. Friends. Your friends are worried about you, and Spike tells me, and that's me, that you are not in the great Yeah, that's me! No way, that's not you. You're not Sprite, I'll punch the face. Ow! 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 Will you stop hitting me? It's hot! Of course it will hurt. But you also hit me with this! You know it's not what the princess said. She said that she wanted you to rest and be ready when she needs you. Now go to bed. Mike and I can clean up these books for you. Yeah. Yeah, you win. Hey, I would force you to. If I were to reacting to this, and I didn't want this to get even more. Rainbow Dash has no idea who he is. Yeah, they could get really complicated, and everyone would get really, really confused. Yeah, I could be watching this while I was a stream talking. I didn't get really confused I, uh, because I couldn't even watch it, and I and now I'm just asleep. Why I'm asleep? I'm asleep. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. This is really confusing, and I like recording myself sleeping. Five weeks. Ah, ah. That's exactly the look Rarity gave me. My mom. Why am I my fucking myself? Oh, I might buy fucking myself. Hey, I think you should go to the street. I wouldn't trust a bunch of crazy ponies who are keeping you in my pops. Oh, yeah. Me and Coop come with to me. Yeah. I read about that in one of the books. 
Twilight emerged over the edge of her loft, blinking heavily. Ooh. One of the old wizard ponies had documented that long-distance teleports that required a large amount of energy would sometimes bring more than just ponies through the gates. Twilight said. She stopped for a moment to collect her thoughts as she began to speak again. The thing is, these anomalies would only occur for no more than an hour or two after the teleport happened. Pinky, did you say that you saw this today? Twilight stammered, still very tired. Pinky nodded her head ferociously. Yippers, on my way over here this morning. What does that mean, though, Twilight? Aliens? Are aliens here? <gasps> aliens! Aliens in the question! No, I'm definitely dreaming! It's not a dream! It's not a dream! It's not a dream! It's not a dream! No, it's not a dream! We're acting. You don't think this is more confusing! You don't help at all! You just. They rushed up the stairs to the unicorn friend to see if she was alright. Yeah, like me, I'm a street by the street by the street by the street by the street. Why are we acting? Do something. Did you get it? We are in a stop! My fucking enemy! One! Ow! You don't need to hurt me on the head, Moto Tongue. We can ask her what she meant when she wakes back up. Now help me. Yeah, he um. Spike. He wrapped his claws around Twilight's rear hooves and began to pull. Good idea, Spike. Dropping her off the edge would surely wake her up. <laughs> Pinky <Pinkie> Pie, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Spike growled. Yeah, she needs to leave. You're full of good ideas, Spike. She said while trying to balance the sleeping unicorn on her back. I feel Spike like face pulling in my Again. Nighty night, Twilight. Hmm. Hey, that right? <laughs> uh, Should I go to Yeah, go to. Sometimes I just don't understand you. Yeah, me either. Mm. Oh, okay. Yes. I'm fast. How will a potion help me now? I'm stuck in this world without knowing how. What is up? Why are you so tough? Why? Yo, what did you put in that thing? What did you put in that thing? What did you put in that thing? Wait, why is Teddy Big Boy coming out to tell me? It's bloody. I don't know. I don't know. This is your dream, bloody. No. Go weed that has the A. I stood up and shook myself off. I was exceptionally tired. I am never dreaming about getting people's voices mixed up. Not like I had not gotten enough sleep. This holy magic is crazy to me. I just used rules and potions, you see, Sakura murmured. She walked over to a book and flipped it open and began to read. I must study to find the remedy. Yeah, must find a remedy to fix our voices. Before anything else goes, I'll be wrong. Yeah, you two to weed shake voices again. I turned to face the 
I know, I know. Wait, what? My voice is back to normal. How is that possible? Well, I don't know. Hey, if your voice is back to normal, my voice is back to normal. Yay, fixed. What? Dad! What's he doing? Dad! Dad! I jumped into the air to try and grab it, but I flew so Attack! Attack! Girl was now on her hooks. I just sat there in the power box and hands for a while. Is that what I thought it was? The wine! Hey, I'm the old one, that's the wine. Because I am the guy with the wine. Yeah, and if I don't know, I can't help, even though I told. I didn't know what to make of the little that I saw. I blinked, trying to clear my vision. What did I see? I saw a room, that was for sure. Yeah. What was in the room was the main question. I saw something. Yes. I'll just say something else. Something that will keep you awake because I don't think. No, 
Yes. I need to hear what you have learned. Yeah. Yes, Princess. I apologize to you beforehand. I've been sleeping ever since yeah. you sent that letter concerning Rainbow Dash. I had wanted to be up sooner, but I overslept. Twilight said, um. ashamed of herself. Is there any? Yeah, he's asleep again. You need to rest. Now, please, what do you know? The princess oh, it's impossible. Well, the main thing that I discovered is that there are strange weather patterns in the skies of Ponyville. Clouds are moving on their own, and no one is controlling them. This was brought to my attention by... Yeah, it's impossible. I ancient wizard ponies that documented that long-distance teleports would leave lasting effects on the areas where they occurred. One of the effects was that the portals remained open for short periods of time. What I believe is happening is that Rainbow Dash is doing something that is causing that energy into the portal. Are you okay? Ah! Ah! Scoop away, I'm doing big boys! What? Ah! What? 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 What is going on here? The princess's reaction was not a good idea. Yes, I feared as much. Celestia said. I am I in a dream, inside 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 a dream, while watching something. Not only are physical objects starting to come through the gates, but certain elements of physics are too. What? The time difference that the two worlds shared, that one day here was one year there, has decreased. What? In fact, my advisors and wizards believe that it is as close as one day here is two weeks there. Like Two weeks. But princess, you said that but our princess, 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 princess bitch. If what you are saying is true, how long would it be until the two worlds merge together? Twilight yeah, how long? How long? How long? About the repercussions of the two worlds colliding, but Celestia cut her short. Yes, Twilight, I am well aware to the gravity of the situation. My you know the gravity of the situation. Then why don't you do something about it? Well, that felt weird. Yeah. Can we stop shooting voices? <laughs> yeah, you, you are having too much fun doing this. Have you even admitted it? The group of ponies set out in the forest. Hey, you are just having too much fun. Don't tell me. He's a dream! I can't! Yeah. Uh, uh, no. Applejack stammered until Rarity cut her off. No. What she means no. to say is, no, we didn't. We figured that if Rainbow Dash couldn't remember any of us, she would have no need to go to Zakora's or even remember how to get there. Yeah. Rarity said, a little ashamed to hear it out of her own mouth. Oh yeah, one more thing. Well, Ow! Why did you punch me? I would have checked. Because I felt like it. Laura, if she found Rainbow Dash lost in the forest, she would have taken it. Twilight said, a hint of scold in her voice. The other two ponies just hung their heads. I hate you. Well, I have a fight time with Teddy Big. He's the strongest. Oh, yeah, I am the strongest. Ah! Trying to determine where she might be. Hey, that thing goes. Wait and chat. Ah! They show powers now. What is going on there? Hey, mine, 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 mine. Wait. Danny. Ow! 
Wait, how am I flying? Ah! I'm gonna take me in spell. How is it possible? It's impossible! Okay, this is a bad. A look of shock adorning each of their faces. You! Yeah. Of course I was lying to her. This was only my second time here. But I didn't think it would hurt to rile up the goddess a little bit. <laughs> it took all the composure I had to keep them laughing. Yeah, one time goes to me. Yeah. I nodded in response. I knew exactly what was coming. The pink mare bounced off the ground and gasped. And now she'll bolt off towards Ponyville, I thought to myself. She would have, too, if Applejack had not bit down on her. <coughs> well, there, Sugar Q. We ain't going nowhere. Applejack spit out through clenched teeth. What do you ever been to one of my parties? Ain't that a piece of one of my piggy pie parties? <laughs> okay, now it's get your acting again. Um, okay, my dream inside a 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 dream. Why I'm watching something? Our worlds are not meant to house each other. As you are undoubtedly aware, Rainbow Dash has the ability to open a portal from our world to yours. I nodded my head, where in reality I had no idea what was going on. The problem is that every time Rainbow Dash opens the portal, it brings our worlds closer to each other. Yeah. Tell me, how long has it been since we first met in your world? I stared at her, trying to understand what she was getting at. Well, it's only been a few months, so that means it's been no more than an hour or two here. Yes. Yeah. I asked, now in all seriousness. It's been three days for us. What? She said a bit smugly. What? Now it was my turn to be surprised. Why did... <gasps> I thought one day here in Equestria was one year back on Earth. Yeah. I asked. Now it was her turn to get me riled up. She shook her head. Well, no. And although I would love to sit and explain the situation to you, we simply don't have the time. All I can tell you is that you being here with that portal behind you is creating negative effects here in Equestria portal. and on your planet. No, you're playing with portal. Back on Earth? Well, yeah, I guess I have. Weatherman and the meteorologist said it was just strange phenomenon. Both our worlds? A nod was her reply. Yeah. But then how come when she came to me in the first place there were no negative effects? Yeah. Or when you and your group I almost called them a posse. Yeah, why don't you go? No, a fox. Where I cannot explain why the first time Dash, uh, Rainbow Dash came through. Dash it. Maybe because it was the first incident, or for some other possible reason. But when My Little Ponies and I came through the portal, Twilight and I used our combined powers to do some. The Bible is awesome. Wait, no more so much Teddy Bear. Why? Why do I saw my teddy bear? We How? How is this possible? Well, I, it, I have no... Wait, why do I have your voice? This is getting confusing! This is getting way really confusing! Uh. Ha ha! We got all the shit voice! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! don't mind, I'm off to find her, I said slightly more yeah. than I intended. I turned my back to the group and started off. Da, 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 da. I heard a sharp whistle. Ja. Two of the princess's royal guards flew down from the sky and landed in front of me, with ha, ha. Breath, cutting off my route. Yeah. I turned to face the princess, now I was getting angry. Hey. Please move your cronies, 
Well, you will die. a bit, who is now on the ground, quivering behind her friends. I'm afraid I cannot do that. You must return to your home. As I said earlier, our worlds were never meant to be together. This portal cannot seal. Oh. So that we could proceed through. Oh my God. She said, also getting impatient. It's back. Now, what we believe that has happened is that Rainbow Dash was charged with the powerful magical spell we told you about those months ago, or in our case, days. It was mixed with the frightful energy of the massive storm and stored in her body, giving her a magical power not yet seen in Equestria. That is how you keep getting here, but as you said, you already knew that. She said, staring into my eyes. She knew I was lying, but I didn't care. I clenched my fists. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm here to find Dashie, so if you don't mind, I'm off to find her. Yeah, I bet you. I turned my back to the group and started off. That was until I heard a sharp whistle. Two of the princess's royal guards flew down from the sky and landed in front of me, wings spread, cutting off my route. I turned to face the princess, now I was getting angry. Will you please move your cronies? I asked relatively calmly. This scared Fluttershy a bit, who was now on the ground, quivering behind her friends. I'm afraid I cannot do that. You must return to your home. As I said earlier, our worlds were never meant to be together. This portal cannot stay open for much longer. Otherwise, it will become more dangerous than before. Yeah. I'm sorry to tell you this, but you must leave at once. If not for the good of the rest of us, then we will get your... Dash. Yeah. Once a friends. Yes, he does remember you, but not her friends. So, Patrick. I must wake up. <gasps> I'm like, I'm like, um, okay, now you have to do a bottle of water, okay, uh, I'm awake, 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 okay, you can stop doing that voice, I'm awake, 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 I felt my heart beat faster. I was breathing heavily. Oh, wait. I couldn't. Wait, I fell back to see. So I'm fine. Wake. Yay. Wake. I'm sorry. Okay, that was too confusing. Can we start to get in your mind? Don't let that happen again. Okay, okay. Okay. That's like me. That's dad. I thought Dashie had found a way. I couldn't finish my sentence as a tear rolled down my cheek. Her dad. I into the eyes of the elder pony sitting beside me. I said this before, but I'm going to say it again. Take care of my Dashie. She deserves better than you, but she deserves better than me. There is nothing we can do to help that. I stood up and looked at Eat the it. sky as I wiped the tears from my face. So I ask you. Make her happy again, like all of your old time adventures. Protect her for me, since I won't be able to. And, if at all possible, tell her I love her. That's 39 minutes left, and so, 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 guys, 39 minutes. No one cries. Not in the You probably can dream and start a 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 dream. We get the idea, Terry Bag. I was inside a dream. Etc. Dashie doesn't deserve us, not anymore. The majestic voice said. I see you will because there's a thing. There's a thing 
It's not a thing, is that? I don't care! Yeah, so this is unacceptable. Okay, that joke is also old.